How close do you think you are to simulating Syracuse's you know, speed on offense and practice? Oh no, well, we can't. We, we don't. We don't have a. There's no way. It's 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 somewhat a very similar to Georgia Tech a week ago. Um, we don't have the personnel to to be able to do it. You know, we're you know as a, as a football team, we're still thin at wideout and and corner. So in DB, so we always have a hard time really simulating during the course of the week uh, the other team's um, best players. But we still that's why we still do good on good. Um, against the offense to try and get live reps against the best guys our offense has. Manny, the, the weather factor, I have to bring it up because it's Syracuse. I know they play I know they play indoors, but is there a difference kind of even indoors and coming out here? Well, that'll be a, a question I'm sure in the back of their minds is how will they handle really being the fastest offense in the country uh, over the course of the, the entire game with, with the heat and humidity down here. Um, and, and, I, and I think that's an unknown, you know. I, I don't think even in their best guess they know how their kids will respond. I know you cannot simulate humidity. You know, I know it's always warm in the dome, you know, then maybe they pump the heat on, but but this humidity is just different. Um, and I, and I, I felt like even Georgia Tech in the fourth quarter last week, even though it was raining, you know, they just, it, you know, those last drives, offensively, defensively, you know, it seemed like we were the fresher team of the two. So that may be that may be an important thing because we're, we're, you know, we're expecting a 60-minute battle. You've been rotating your guys in kind of a, across the board, you know, all season long, and, you know, obviously going back to last year, too. Uh, this season, how close do you think your ones and your twos are kind of at all three levels? Uh, there, there are positions, obviously, where they're closer than other positions. Um, this game, everybody's got to play. Uh, everybody's got to play. We've got to have 10 DBs that are ready to go. So you'll see you'll see a lot more defensive backs playing this week than you have in the past. It's a different game than it was a week ago. You know, a week ago, we, you know, there's only certain guys that really grasped how to defend that option. This week, there'll be a lot more guys in the game in the back end. You got to have a lot of guys in the game on the front end because you know the most tiring thing to do in football is rush the passer, uh, and that's kind of what they want. They want your pass rushers to get t tired, so they got an extra half a second to get a throw off that maybe would have been a pressure. So you, we, we will be rolling guys. You'll see just about everybody we have play some sort of role on Saturday. Manny, aside from the experience, how is this team different a year ago? I mean, when you look at the mental makeup versus where they are now, where they were, when you guys were still learning each other last year, what, what have you seen? Yeah, I think there's obviously a little bit more of an expectation to win. You know, I, I, I think I think the team has a little more of that. Um, but I think as a coaching staff, I don't feel like it's at a championship standard yet. You know, the idea of really understanding every day to come out and, 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 and what it takes um, – every day in every game to have to be at your best you know and especially when you start to get to that point where you're you have that target on your back see that's that's a new phenomenon you know where all of a sudden where you're everybody's you know big game um we're learning our way through that i, I you know and, and, and you know, i don't know if you can other than the actual experience of it uh i don't know how you get to it but i do think the team i think i think our leadership is excellent um you know as the, the, the guys have mentioned i don't think we panic during the course of games you know what i mean i think we, we feel like we can find a way um if we were a little more mature, I think we wouldn't always have to find a way. You know, I, mean, I think maybe we'd already be a little bit more. And I, I think Coach Rick put it put it in a good way. We're we're, we're finding ways to, to grind out victories, um, but I think there's a, everyone knows on all three phases we can be a lot better. Manny, I don't want to lump them all together if you want to take them separate. But Shaq and Pinkney and McLeod, have they been at the level you want them to be consistently this year? What I, what I see is I see guys that are better than they were a year ago. I think they're dealing with expectation that they were going to come back and, and, and suddenly never make a mistake and set the world on fire. Um, they all flash. You know, anytime you evaluate a defensive player, especially, you know, from, from the outside in, you, you always see flash plays. You see flash negatives and flash positives. Um, they, the best thing I can say is they're all better. The best thing I can say is they're all going to get better. They can all be a lot better, and they all know that. You know what I mean? There's not, a, there's not a, an issue with where having them feel like they've arrived. I think they've seen it going into year two that it's still a linear progress of, of getting to where they want to get to, and the line doesn't always go straight up. It, it, you know, it, it goes up and down and rocks like that, but, uh, but, but they, they all have a great attitude, and, and they want to be coached hard every, every week. Now, Man. they were better in the second half, obviously, as many of your defenders were last week. Do they ever come to you at halftime and say, we can do this differently, or are they just extremely coachable when you tell them, this is how I want you to play Georgia Tech in the third, fourth quarter? Well, it was really in the second quarter. You know, and, and a lot of actually, you know, you know, I mean, other than, you know, Georgia Tech, the more you see it, the better you're going to get at playing it, you know. Um, you know, Zach played well. He missed a couple tackles in the first half that, that cost us. Um, but the majority of our issues in the Georgia Tech game were on the perimeter. You know, we just weren't fitting up the perimeter um, quite the way we had to. And once we kind of got that solved, 
you know, we were kind of good from there. But, but what, what I will say in, in all of their behalf is that they all understand the concept of our defense. And so if, if, if you're not memorizing things, if you understand kind of the big picture or something, then you can, it's easier to fix instead of, you know, trying to, you know, memorize everything. So they do have that ability to, to you know, if we want to make an adjustment or if we want to say what, what's not happening the way it has to happen, they, they can grasp that and understand how to fix it. Last Manny, question. Uh, there's no such thing as perfect depth on defense. Any defense supporter knows that. But with that said, how close is the depth to where you want it? Like one recruiting class away, two recruiting classes away. Are you happy with it now? Like, can you sort of talk to that a little bit? Well, we feel like, I mean, the, you know, and I've, I've said this before, in the secondary, we don't have what a major college football team should have, not not competing for the things that we're, we're expected to compete for. Um, we're five to six defensive backs short of what, you know, you know at every position you, you mark how many scholarships you have. We're five short. Those are five. Now, you say, are you talking about five missing five corners, five safeties? Well, there's no doubt, but those are five guys that run down on kickoff. Those are five guys that, that block punts. So all those snaps have to be shared. And then when you lose a guy, or like two, like we lost a week ago, someone still has got to run down and cover kicks. Someone still got to run down and cover punts. So the snap count wears on your little people. And little people, as the year goes on, they get the most worn down. So up front, you can never have enough. We know that. This game will, will prove that with, with the ability to get after the passer. Um, you know, and, and I think that speaks for a whole front seven. But in the back end, we got to we got to make do with what we have until you know. That's why this class, this recruiting class, is so important for us. That's why the DBs that we're on, we expect them all to have significant roles a year from now because there's so many jobs that guys are having to sort of plug multiple leaks. Thanks a lot. Thank you all again. Thank you. Thank you.